You should use image magic. <laughs> Wait, are, are you telling me? Yeah. <laughs> to like, use image magic. Yeah, when you get when when you get your Linux machine, use image magic. It's like a command line. I haven't heard of it. Huh? Jesus Christ! Command line. <laughs> yeah, it's, command it's, it's, line. <laughs> it's this really cool command line tool, man. Um, what it does is like one of, one of the big advantages of the command line is you can. He can he can do like operations on files and stuff. Oh no, yeah, I've heard of this image magic. It's the one I was um like he could easily batch resize. Yeah, yeah, those things. yeah. Like I actually I actually did use that a lot when I was doing like real estate stuff, right? Because like when you because when we take inventories of stuff, obviously pictures. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> there's a vase. There's a fucking television. You know, like you have to take an inventory of everything that way, uh, when the lessee leaves or whatever, then at least, Mm -hmm. you know, you're sure that everything that was there is there, that kind of thing. So, you know, to edit those images, not edit, but to manipulate those images. Yeah. Properly, like, yeah. You use image magic. Yeah. Because, because, uh, one of the, one of the sexiest things about the command line is the wildcard, right? The asterisk, asterisk mm-hmm. thing. That pretty much means everything here. Um, like everything in this, everything in this directory. Uh, then, you know, if you use that in conjunction with other, like, things. So say you only want to manipulate all of the JPEG files, then you go wildcard.jpg and then, um, everything that ends in a .jpg image magic will run through. So like, yeah, you should use that. Uh, righty then. I will try because, um, I got so used, uh, and got very spoiled by what you see is what you get editors. Yeah, but then, you know, I mean, this is like, if, if you're gonna be, uh, if you're gonna be doing, well, that's something that I found so trippy about image magic, right? Because, uh, photography is something that's really visual. But exactly. You know, when it comes to editing. But then if you're going to be applying the same thing, to a lot of images and you know sort of what you want to apply like i want to scale this image down or i want to just crop the first uh, i want to yeah like like i want um all of these photos to be at 640 by 480 that way when you post them on the internet it's fine or whatever and you know that you want to do that to like 500 pictures uh it'd be kind of fucking retarded to open up each one in a gui image editor when you can just type in mm-hmm. convert and then command and then and yeah just do card. a quick uh yeah you know yeah actually the thing about the command line right like i fell in love with the command line when uh when i broke xorg that first time <laughs> it was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude the first time i broke xorg was like shit i have to use stuff and um and, and that's when i started digging into like what's possible on the command line and uh now the things that I always make sure I have are screen, finch, links, gamu, and mutt. Uh yeah. right. So screen is you know how when you have a when when you have like a terminal open or when you're on your command line, you only really have like one thing. Mm-hmm. Right? You only really have one prompt and like if you have something open, if you have top running, you can't really do very much else, right? Yeah. Uh, what what screen does is it sort of opens. I I think of it as like a tab on your web browser. So like when you invoke screen, you open up another like virtual session. Oh. So. Ooh. So yeah, yeah. Well, without without having to switch between TTYs, like. Uh huh. Um. That that's sort of what screen is. I think of it as like tabs on a web browser. So like oh yeah, another thing that I get is rtorrent. Uh, so like I have a screen running with rtorrent on it to like help seed distros and stuff. So like it's, it's just running in the background. And if I want to pop into the terminal and do something else, or if, if I want to like SSH into the little home server that I have, if I, I make the MK802 sound like it's such an awesome thing, right? But like if I want to, <laughs> <laughs> it probably. <laughs> I make it sound like it's some fucking like oh server, um, but yeah, like, if I just essay it. It's the size of a thumb. <laughs> you know, man. <laughs> you know, if, if I um, if I essay it, fine, a pinky. Like, I am, uh, there. So that that's uh that, that's what screen is, and I have like uh 
you know, like, like when, uh, when, when the thing starts up, uh, it, I, I have it like invoke screen already and, um, and our torrent has this option or ha- has this thing in, in the config file where, uh, you can have it automatically check for torrents, torrent files in like a particular directory. So, you know. Mm-hmm. So let's say uh, a new Ubuntu comes up, you could have it easy and it'll e- grab it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, if you're into, if you're into piracy, like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. There, there are tools out what? there. There are tools out there. Like, uh, what, what was it? What was, what was it? Um, it was like an uh, FlexGet. There's this other tool called mm-hmm. FlexGet. And what it does is, um, it, like, like when you, when you run the command, it will look at an RSS feed and download the media file, right? Or, or it'll, it'll download like the file on the RSS feed. Uh, so what people do is they use FlexGet in conjunction with a torrent client to download like the latest episode of whatever that just came out. Mm-hmm. Like you can do that on, um, you can, you can do that. Because you could follow like an, a feed. It's sort of a subscription. Yeah, yeah. So, se. so you do that with, you do that with FlexGet. Um, you, you have it run like every hour or something, uh, using the cron tab or using cron, which is also something that I really love. I really love cron. Uh, so that's screen and rtorrent. I'll, I'll, I'll put links in as well. But yeah, rtorrent, uh, uh, a command line, uh, torrent client. Mm. Which is, you know, it's it's fun. <laughs> like, you have so much fun. Yeah. Like, I, I I'm a GUI guy, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess everybody is like a GUI person, um, you know, to an extent. But like, I guess I guess command line literacy is something that I take a little bit more seriously. Even though, it's not even bad though for all intents could... and purposes, it's probably fucking useless at this point. No, I I I say. I yeah, say. If that's how you work. Oh. I say, <laughs> if you work, if your work becomes faster because of the command line, by all means, say if you can troubleshoot easy something easy. Like I did that. That's why sometimes I just message you instead of going to um uh, like forums and whatnot because messaging you messaging you is faster because you can easily solve it. <laughs> that. And that's because of your knowledge of the command line. Uh, and and to be and to be honest, that's the only way. That's the only reason why I want to learn command line stuff as well, just so I can fix the shit that I break. <laughs> yeah, but then you know the the, the stuff that I'm the, the stuff that I'm putting or the, the stuff that I'm mentioning. Uh, this really isn't troubleshooting. This is like yeah, those are this practical like, things that will speed up. Yeah, speed up the, your <laughs> your basic computing. Not even why open another really. <laughs> This is like image shit magic can... is not faster than well, say fine. using there's... Shockwell. Well, fine. There, there, there's image magic, but then like you know, the, uh, you, have, you have a you have a project here like Finch, which is pretty much Pigeon on the command line, and there's no. no other like reason to use it other than it's really fucking cool. Or like I only really have a command line because I'm on a I'm on a server, you know. <laughs> But I, I really love Finch. <laughs> like there was a time that I just that that I would use Finch to message everybody on um what was it the Facebook chat thing. Even but then um XMPP like like Facebook dropped XMPP, which so so it doesn't work with Finch or Pigeon anymore. I think. And then there's Lynx L Y N X, which is a web browser. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking web browser on the command line. It's great. <laughs> um, but th- an interesting thing that you can do with links is like you can open up a website and what have you, right? Uh, and, but, but then what you can do is you can make it run like actions on the website, mm-hmm. right? right? So like, uh, say, um, you're not, not run actions on the website. How do I put this? Um, you can navigate, you can pretty much navigate like a, a a website with like the arrows and enter button and stuff, right? Um, you can have it do that automatically by defining the actions that you want it to take. So like you can, uh, you can invoke links and, um, and, and, and 
fuck, how do I put this? You can be like, hey, links, I want you to open up fucking Wikipedia and search for uh, third world stuff. And you can have it do that automatically uh, by saying like links and then the file with the instructions to tell it to go to Wikipedia, press the down button like nine times and type in third world stuff and hit enter. <laughs> right? like, you can have it, you can, you can fucking program it to do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought that, that's why I, I really thought that you really like command line stuff because it makes things faster. You just like it because it's cool. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anything else or? Uh, there's Mutt. Mutt is an email oh, okay. client. Uh, oh yeah, you, you talked to me about Mutt. You, you love Mutt. But yeah, uh, to our faithful 14, please explain what Mutt is to you in your life. I'm pretty sure like everybody out there actually knows what Mutt is. Uh, it's, it's an email so client. No need. <laughs> it's an email client on the command line. Um, I, I use it in conjunction with cron like a lot, uh, you know, to send emails to myself when I feel lonely. Um, and with like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you send emails to yourself when you feel lonely. <laughs> Nah, uh, well, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Auto send a Peppa Pig picture at this hour. <laughs> or pull up a Peppa Pig link at this hour. <laughs> and email it to me. Um, no, dude, like, I use it, uh, you know, like. Email management, pretty much. Yeah, you know, how you process your emails via Mutt. Uh, no, actually. Well, eh. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like Thunderbird on the command line. Um, well, I I just what I use it for is um, I I have it email me. Yeah, I have it email me whenever my external IP address changes, which is like really fucking nerdy. Um, <laughs> that Jesus way I can Christ. fucking SS. <laughs> that, that way I can SSH into my house whenever I need. To. I know. I'm not saying it's just like damn. That's all I can say about it. I don't know. This is all very. I guess. I guess it's kind of basic, though. Like, I, I'd like to know what my external IP address is, sir. That way, I can like. Yeah, I'm not judging. Know. I'm not judging. It's just, it's just overwhelming to me. Like those, those love that level of computing. I'll be very amazing if it works for you. Again, compassion, compassion. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> you're educating me, and we're being compa- and I'm being compassionate right now. So again, the education and compassion episode. <laughs> yeah, because like, uh, because because fuck Dropbox, right? And b- because because fuck Dropbox. Oh man, um, don't get me started about Dropbox. Jesus Christ! Right. So like, I I have a on on the little MK802 <laughs> the home server. Um, I have like a fucking I have a hard drive connected to it, right? And what I do is. Um, I have, I have an SSH, I have like an SFTP SSH running on it or whatever. And SFTP from like every laptop that I have. And in order to be able to get to it when I'm not at home, I need the external IP address because like it's a dynamic IP address, right? Like it's dynamically assigned by the ISP. So like, I'm not always, I'm, I don't always have the same IP address facing out to the internet. Like, you mm-hmm. pretty much know that, right? Yeah. So, for that, you know, 113172, whatever. Like, yeah, I, I have I have it email me whenever it changes. Uh, bash script. A bash script that runs every hour that checks for a change in the IP address. And if the IP address changes, it sends me an email. So, that's something pretty cool that you can do. Yeah. Fine and dandy. Uh, and there is Gamu, which is, um, it's a cell phone manager. <laughs> right? Like, there's, there's a, there's a, shit, what's it? Like, there's this GUI version, or there's this GUI front end called Wamu or something. And it, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a manager for your cell phone's memory, right? Like, you plug in your cell phone inbox, like, outbox, all that stuff. But, like, something that you can do with Gamu and Wamu is, like, you can send a text from your phone when it's plugged in to your laptop, right? Like, so you, you can do that with Android. But, um, what I use it for is if I want, <laughs> I don't really use it. And it's, 
I don't really use it, but <laughs> you yeah. just realize it. it's just cool that I know this and I I use it. But it's it's, it's just it's Android. just cool that it's it's just cool that you can do this. Um, you know those little three G sticks? Yeah, right. Those, those little one. well, well, not the stick, but those clamshell mobile three D three G whatever. Yeah, but then like you know the ones that you can just plug into you plug into your computer and ta da you have an internet connection. Um, yeah, that that has a SIM card in it. Yes, I want to text from that SIM card. And uh, I want to text from that SIM card using the fucking command line. That way I can include it in a cron job, you know? Like, hey, I want it to send me a text every three hours, you know? <laughs> I was Again, act- if you find, if it enables you to do the work you need to do, go ahead. I, I was actually, I was actually seriously considering, uh, like using that with, uh, using that for channel 14 stuff. Like, 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 have that thing, like, send us a text on Sundays at 10 in the evening. Be like, okay, it's time to record. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, it's cool and all, but Jesus. Okay. <laughs> actually, actually, there was, um, it was, it was two semesters ago. I set it up so that it would send me a text in the morning, uh, finals week, like a couple of two semesters ago. I had it text me every morning like what my exams were for the day i had to text uh some of my law school friends what their exams were that kind of thing you know just like as a proof of concept like hey uh, can you can turn it to your personal secretary that you program on your own yeah it's um third world jarvis <laughs> but you can do that with telegram cli which is pretty fucking cool you have telegram on the command yeah, line we're, we're, <laughs> oh man amazing telegram is so amazing <laughs> 